Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. This will be a part two as a follow-up to our last episode that we had put up. Uh, just going over the Star Wars Biomes Replace mod, we are taking a look at each of the maps, going through the pros and cons of each one, just in case you guys decide to try this mod for yourself. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up as to what each map includes. If you are interested in more Star Wars RimWorld content, this whole week is dedicated to it, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's just jump into this. We will be starting on Naboo going through Kashyyyk, Yavin 4, Endor, Scarif, Crate, and Hoth. And so if you're interested in any of these maps, make sure to follow along until the end and hit the like button. So here we have Crash Landed on Naboo. Now, a few things that I notice at first, I think th that there may be a slight color change in the map textures. This is the replacement for the tropical swamp biome. Uh, another first impression is that there is a lot of water on this map. Now I did try a few different locations just to see if, uh, if it was just because I was close to a river. But as you can see, I am nowhere near a river in this playthrough specifically. And so I will say a lot of water will definitely be an issue uh, when you're looking to build out your base. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's just going to get in the way quite a bit. And so um, that is definitely a downside. On the plus side, growing tends to be fairly decent in this biome. There is a lot of high fertility areas. Uh, I would say that growing will not be a problem on this map as there is year-round growing, and that seems to be across the board uh, in every Naboo placement and so that is definitely a plus the heat however is going to be a little tough to manage as you can see here the average temperature for the year is 32 degrees celsius and so it will be a little difficult for sure on that end you will require some management in that regard um, but aside from that yeah nice textures and uh and very naboo ish i would I think I would like to try a playthrough on this map personally. Aside from that though, I would say very positive map overall. Maybe a little difficult to defend, but I think that this would be definitely one of the easier colonies to manage. You may run into the occasional gun gun and prepare to hear a lot of Misa gonna die, but uh, apart from that, uh, I think this would be a great map to maybe do your first or second playthrough on. Uh, there will be a list of pros and cons on your screen. After that, we will move on to my favorite map of this game, uh, the Kashyyyk map. Uh, for those of you who followed along with the Star Wars series so far, you know that I very much have a disdain for this map, but uh, we will move on and I will talk about the pros and cons that I have experienced a little bit more in depth and farther along because I have been playing in that biome. And so let's move on to Kashyyyk. Okay guys, here we have Kashyyyk. Now, as I was saying, those of you who are familiar with my other series will know how much I hate this map, uh, only because of the trees. They are by far the biggest negative that this map has. It is uh, a, a little beneficial because when you chop down one of these trees, you do get a massive amount of wood from them. However, I do not think that that outweighs just how massive they are and how in the way of seeing anything they are. Um, I will show you guys the terrain affordance here. As you can see, it doesn't have the greatest terrain affordance. Uh, no matter where you attempt to build your base, you're going to have a little bit of issue with it. Uh, the other problem I have had with this map in my own playthrough is that there could very well be rivers running underneath here and uh, it's hard to tell when you're actually planning out your base and so definitely a big negative is the trees. Um, the pros for this, I would say growing, it's year round and as you can see very abundant, not going to have much of an issue with growing. The heat is also a pretty big plus for this map as it is fairly manageable. I'll go out to the world here, but we'll take a look at the terrain. Uh, as you can see, the growing period is year-round, and the average temperature sits at 22 degrees, and so not too difficult to manage. You will need some cooling boxes, but uh, for a dumbed-down tribe, you could probably manage this pretty easily. The disease frequency is also a bit of an issue when it comes to this map, but other than that, yeah, I don't have too much else to say about this map. Uh, just the trees. The trees are 
excessive. They're way too much. Um, I will do a quick chop of a tree just so you guys can see how much wood you do get from that. Uh, let's just get these guys on it right away. So there you can see from one tree I have acquired 159 wood. And so as you can imagine, you have to chop down quite a few just to plan out your base and get started. And so you will have an abundance of wood. But other than that, this map is, uh, is not my favorite, definitely. Uh, good if you want to try and make a wood trading kind of colony. Past that, I would say only attempt this map if you are in for a lot of building and a, a bit of a challenge just when it comes to this kind of thing. You will see animals and uh, colonists and items appear above the tree line, which is nice, but it is not the greatest by any means. And so we will be moving on to Yavin 4 now. Uh, super excited to check out this biome as it is custom built by the modder and so let's move on to there and see what it has in store for us. This is the custom map made by the creator Yavin4. Uh, upon first impression there is not a lot of mountainous rock and that kind of thing so uh, I don't believe that in the world selection we were very limited but there isn't a whole lot of spots that do have large mountainous area on them. Uh, just taking a quick look at the terrain, you can see that uh, growing is fairly available, disease frequency is a little high, and temperature is fairly manageable. Uh, very flat terrain in this case. It was very difficult to find a Yavin 4 biome on this map in particular. But uh, looking at the stats of the map itself, the terrain affordance is fairly decent, not going to have much of a problem, and wow. Um, yeah, fertility is not going to be a problem at all on this map. Uh, all of these zones have a fertility of 140%, basically everywhere on the ground, so... This would be an amazing map for food development, and you can probably place yourself as a food supplier for some of the local factions around you, uh, but really, really impressed with, with this map and the fertility on it. Would be really nice to have and develop. Past that, I am not seeing too much difficulty that you would have. Obviously, there is a lot of natural defense for the enemy to kind of hide behind when attacking so you would want to be aware of that but aside from that yeah you're gonna have a lot of availability when it comes to wood uh, a lot of availability when it comes to food and so this wouldn't be too difficult of a map to play on I would also really like to try a playthrough on this map as well but um, with that we will move on to Endor I don't have too much more to add as usual the pros and cons will be on your screen and we will see you guys over in Endor. Okay guys, this is Endor. Now again, first impression, just landing on the map. Uh, I will say the trees, again on this map, would be a little bit annoying to play with. Not as bad as Kashyyyk, but certainly kind of pesky to deal with for sure. Uh, this is the biome that replaces the temperate forest. So everyone's kind of beginner map, the temperate forest is fairly manageable when it comes to diseases and growing temperature or growing periods and temperature uh, all fairly manageable we'll just take a quick look here so you guys can see uh, what it does look like on the map uh, as well as the statistics are here yeah again so the trees are probably the biggest con to this map uh, again we'll try and chop one let's try and find one at 100 percent here uh, not a really easy way to differentiate between what is fully grown with these trees. Uh, I think the best that we might find here, uh, here's 80%, so we will try chopping that and see what it brings us, how much wood that is. Okay, so again, 128 wood from one tree chopped, not bad at all. Would be very easy to develop a wood colony on this biome as well. 
uh, we will take a look at terrain affordance as well as growing so not a lot of high fertile areas to grow terrain affordance wouldn't be an issue you won't run into any of the issues that you would on say Kashyyyk but yeah overall very easy map to start off on this is kind of everybody's go-to when they're first starting up in RimWorld so if you're looking for a very easy kind of playthrough as well as a little bit of change to the base vanilla version uh, there is some nice aesthetic touches to this map and it is fairly manageable year round to deal with and so I would recommend this map for a beginner to RimWorld but if you're a little bit experienced and want a little bit more of a challenge obviously pick a different map uh, we will be moving on to Scarif there will be a list of pros and cons on your screen and we will see what Scarif has in store. So just before we get into a in-depth look, in look at Scarif, I did want to take a note. There is a note in the mod uh, design package that they said not to pick a coast tile. And so I wanted to do that just so that I was aware of why as well as you guys. Um, I think they have coated all of the ocean water to be this light blue kind of color uh, but the deep ocean water from the coast tiles they weren't able to change I guess and so uh, that is why they say not to pick a coast tile just because it is this really ugly dark gray kind of blue as opposed to the light blue that Scarif offers and so now I will load up a new game on a non coast tile and then we can take a look at what we're in for with Scarif Okay guys, now this is Scarif as the modder has intended to play it. Um, initial first impressions are that growing is going to be very difficult here. If we take a look at that tab, uh, that is confirmed. There is not a whole lot of area for growing food. You will have to rely more on hunting in this map. Um, there is a lot of water as well, so I think that your colonists will be in a state of constantly soaking wet so there will be a pretty consistent debuff on that aspect uh, terrain affordance so just taking a look here at the terrain affordance as well you are not able to build on any of this water so you will be required to have a heavy miner set on you uh, and i would recommend as well i have chosen an area that does have a mountainous region in it um, so i would recommend picking a area with a mountain in it just to give you a little bit more land to work with. Um, as you can see, the growing period is year round. I don't know if this is remains a constant for all Scarif locations, but uh, it seems like it does uh, on, on this map anyways. Um, it is this light blue area if you are looking for it in your own playthrough. Uh, we do have a pretty decent average temperature. You won't have much difficulty there as well as uh, disease frequency is pretty high. Um, not great in that regard, but overall it would be a pretty fun map to play. This was a custom built biome. It wasn't derived from anything in the original game, and so it is always neat to see the creator make that. Very nice map to look at. Uh, other than that, a playthrough, it would be fa it's fairly challenging, I would say, but uh, also pretty enjoyable to play on and so yeah terrain affordance would be probably one of the biggest difficulties as well as growing uh, there will be a list of pros and cons on your screen and with that we are almost through all of the maps we do have crate and hoth to go through still so we will move on to crate and save hoth for last i am looking forward to taking a look at that map but uh, yeah, let's move on to Crate and see what it is all about. Now, Crate was designed from the Boreal Forest biome in the base vanilla RimWorld game. Initial inspection, the uh, Crate Salt is pretty cool. Nice little touch there. Uh, it will be a fairly difficult map to attempt. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the terrain affordance. Now it seems like you wouldn't have any issue building anywhere. Uh, I don't know how well growing goes on this map. Very, very, very seldom uh, room for growing. So you will be relying heavily on hunting for food in this map. Uh, it also seems like trees and, th and wood is not going to be accessible at all. Past that, if you're, if you're looking to try this, it is the white uh, 
area on your map. Uh, it will take a look at our terrain around us. So growing period is fairly small, but that's not going to be an issue because you're not going to be growing anything anyways. Uh, rainfall is very minimum, so being soaking wet on this map won't be a very common debuff. Disease frequency is very low which I do like, uh, and the temperature will require quite a bit of management as it can drop to negative 20. Yeah, very interesting map, would be a fairly difficult playthrough, uh, but would provide challenge to an experienced RimWorld player. There will be a list of pros and cons on this screen, and we will be moving on to Hoth, which is the last biome that this mod does add. I do want to give a quick reminder that if you are enjoying this content, if you appreciate it, then let me know and hit the like button. It does help me out quite a bit. And we will move on to Hoth now. Okay guys, this is Hoth. It is the replacement for the ice sheet biome. And as you can imagine, the ice sheet biome is probably the difficult biome in the game, as Hoth is as well. It, uh, it has no growing period for the entire year. We'll take a look at the terrain. Uh, it has no growing period whatsoever, and the temperature is constantly below zero. And so it is going to be a difficult playthrough style, no matter what. The only positive I will say is that diseases are very seldom, but with the amount of hypothermia you'll be dealing with, it is not to be taken lightly. The cool thing about this mod, at least paired, I think it may be paired with the uh, Star Wars More Creatures, but we do have tauntauns so that is the one upside of playing on hoth uh, aside from that yeah it would be a very difficult playthrough but i do want to issue a challenge if this video can get to 30 likes i will do an attempt on this map or whichever map of your choosing uh, make sure to leave a comment with which map you would like to see some gameplay of as well as a like and once it hits 30 we will start a let's play on that series this does bring us to the end of the map biome replacements that this map does so unfortunately this will be the end of the video but if you are subscribed there will be a video coming out tomorrow highlighting the Tuscan Raider gear that we do have equipped. Uh, we will be focusing on building our colony into a Tuscan Raider camp. So if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell for Star Wars Week. I'm Itz Switz, and we will catch you tomorrow.